What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to a Behemoth Devastator video showing you don't want to fight this. You can't. If you fight this, you're going to lose. Run away. That's the only option, right? It's like in Halloween H20, the guy coming with his knife. You cannot fight him. You must run away. <laughs> That's the Behemoth, ladies and gentlemen, with four times Devastator. Look at this guy. He made the mistake of thinking he's a brawler. <laughs> That is funny. Ladies and gentlemen, Ardent Behemoth with four times Boombox Nucleon, these pilot skills, and also interesting to note, 28,000 damage on the Boombox Devastator Mark III, right? 26,700 on the regular one. Uh, that's a weird thing, isn't it? Normally all the regular weapons have the same damage output as these extra special skin weapons, I thought. But apparently not. Look at this guy. Here's a Revenant getting completely deleted from the game. I think I hit this thing so hard, it's probably also destroyed in his hangar. He can't even use this anymore because I hit it so hard. They can't put it back together. Look, they have a massive Falcon traditionalist tank, right? Um, remember, this thing is near imp unbreakable and uh, with unlimited resistance and everything. But the firepower from this behemoth is so high. Still, he does not really care and also every damage I do he cannot be uh, repaired back, right? So look at this boom 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 Remember this version of the behemoth without the ardent skin is the one that has the undamage del damage built in with a drone module So as we deal damage we deal even more damage <laughs> and then of course also with the uh, You know nuclear amplifier this thing just reaches complete un insane limits and this is the best proof I'm sneaking up for from behind, look what I'm going to do with this poor entire enemy team here. Plop, 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 guy done. He doesn't see me. This guy also doesn't see me. Plop, the Erebus just bit the farn. So let's be here on this guy. Wait for him to spout, to land with his flight. Uh, he flies away. But look, this Revenant still didn't understand the actual danger that's to his left. Plop, plop, there goes a full Revenant. I'm sure he's never spawned. Never, ever spawned a Revenant that got destroyed so fast before. By the way, I'm slowed to zero and after like 10 seconds of trying to walk towards the center I'm like come the heck on man let me walk freaking ah gravity amplifier nonsense that's going on uh, it, it's out of control picks on it we need something with it smaller radios much smaller radios on this or something I don't know bam here goes another dude he didn't even make it onto the ground man uh, in the air with his reflector I already dropped his purple shield look we have two Titans coming in and let me just say if it wasn't for the fact that there's two Titans with these Mahavara shotguns. I would have definitely killed one of them, no problem. Look, look, he's coming in, bam, bam. Fully maxed, by the way, right? Barely taking damage. Now this guy, bam, 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 bam. Three shots later, he lost 40% health. Swapping over to this guy. They even use their abilities because they realize they get out brawled by this behemoth. They're like, what the heck did I just suffer from? And they, they activate their transcendence ability because, man, they have to somehow do something to stay alive against this thing. Look at this guy. Boom! There you go, friend. Don't brawl with the absolute brawl god, okay? I, I don't think there is anything in the game that brawls harder than this one here. Especially considering you can't heal any of it back. That really is the kicker of this setup, is that there you cannot heal it back. That makes it so insane. You will see, however, in one of the gameplay situations I'm showing you here that it happens from time to time that you fire empty. By the way, excellent play here. He slowed me down with a gravity bull crap, and then he stayed behind me. No matter where I try to turn, he just out, out maneuvers, and I can't get a look at him. But in the end, I managed to turn around and pop, and he was gone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a pat fat uppercut from these four devastators right there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the content, you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, why haven't you? Then consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it, guys. Uh, and if you want to see more enemies being absolutely slaughtered like this. Okay, he starts to fly at 419. Let me just say this right here. Look at this full revenant. Pam, pam, one shot, second shot, down to 5%. Third shot kills him. This guy, bye. Uh, and now the nightingale is flying. Remember, at 419, he started flying. I'm saying this because are you freaking kidding me this guy is still flying what the heck he's never coming out of the air he's always stealth now at the four minute mark he finally lands this guy's in the air with stealth for like 19 seconds and he would heal himself back up with if if i didn't drop him with the devastators which means he can't heal up but uh yeah imagine he would be dropped with another weapon he would come out of this with 60 percent health again right all right so how much damage do we do let's see let's see 
Um, maybe I drank a little bit too much coffee today. I'm on freaking fire now. 5.5 million damage, 14 kills, 3 beacons capped. Don't go close to this setup. Just don't do it. If you see a behemoth running with 4 devastators, freaking run away. Stay the hell away from him. You don't want to get close, man. This thing is just going to absolutely ruin your day. <laughs> um, shell robots actually have quite a lot of resistance because every single one of those shields around them def uh, counts as an individual defense that needs to be separately dropped. Um, but um, yeah, even with this much firepower, you drop pretty much anything quick, right? You're going to see Titans getting slaughtered. You're going to see t uh, Arthur getting deleted, everything. All right, so... So we're here from the side. This is, by the way, an excellent spot for short-range brawling setups because if enemies want to take you out, they have to get close here, and that's what they don't. They shouldn't be doing. Boom! There goes a. Uh, um, oh, he's still here. All right, pop. There he goes. The uh, Seraph. Then we take down this guy after his lagging is done for a sec. Uh, we can finally drop him. Nope, he goes back into the air. All right, enough. He lagged like for like five seconds straight. It was impossible for me to hit him. But um, I see an Arthur Titan and I see a Fenrir. I see some heavy tanks. Oh, he hello, dude. Ah, this guy again with his Orochi there. He's, he's gonna be he's gonna be doing this for a while. Uh, a very annoying thing. Um, but I don't know. For some reason, he felt like it was his duty to attack and tickle me from behind the whole time. So, uh, bum, I'm turning around, giving him one shot that didn't count. Look, he would be dead now. Perfectly aimed on him. Look, boom. Four Devastators into him. Okay, maybe the right one didn't hit, but all other three, perfect hits. That should definitely kill him. Game says no, thank you. Didn't get hit. Another shot, boom. He goes into stealth, okay. Just to show you, that was his first life that the game gave him here. Here, boom, another shot. Here, he comes out of stealth. I gave him one nudge, boom, that hit halfway, and then the second, bam, another shot. Game says no, and another shot. Game says no. Game just gives him unlimited lives. Look at this shot, perfectly pre-aimed into his movement. Pop, game says no. So, his third or third or fourth, tenth life that the game just presented to him and gave him for free. He was that he was getting killed four times or whatever. Anyways, next behemoth, this time it's the one who deals the real damage. As you can see here, these Fenrir's men, they get completely... I don't know, they get sucked into a vortex and just, uh, I don't know, they, are, they just don't exist anymore after I'm done with them. Here's a situation where the other Revenant jumps on me, I'm inside his shield, three shots later he already got his HP restore, it doesn't matter, three shots later he's done, or two shots. Absolute enormous firepower that these Devastators prove to have here. Also look at this, that's a Heimdall. Look what I'm doing to this Heimdall, did you see, what the hell? Look, I'm the only one shooting him. Look at this Heimdall. And I have the undamaged dealt damage, so I start dealing even more damage as I start to fire. Bam, 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 bam. And he's already gone. This guy takes one shot to the face. One shot. And then he looks like this, and I shoot him one more time. But of course, again, the game says, no, sorry, he was already gone. Um, all right, here's a, uh, enemy Lucha. Um, and he jumps away. That was, unfortunately, his luck that he jumped away. If he had stayed there, dude, that guy would be dead now. So I already know the freaking Scorpion, he's got nothing better to do but to jump on me again. So I'm deploying my resistance with extra resistance on healing and boom, boom, there you go, buddy. Of course, he's going to deal a ridiculous amount of damage, but there's nothing you can do about it because these, these guys jump in with stealth. Not only that they teleport behind you, like what in what gameplay design, in what game design is that a good idea? Like what the hell? He jumps through walls, teleports behind you, and then he does that with stealth now, like seriously, man. Oh god, it's a perfect sissy playstyle, but of course, remember, the scorpion is in the game for a long time, and I'm also using him sometimes, so, yeah, I'm just as much guilty of using this freaking sissy playstyle as well, and uh, it's not our player's fault, it's the fault of Pixonic allowing robots to teleport behind you through walls at 350 meters range, and then add stealth on top of that, like, seriously, man. 4.2 million damage, uh, let's go, let's go, 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 boom, shield, all right, all right, pam, pam, and after the shield drops, he's done instantly. That freaking shield is the only reason they die, don't die in one second. If it wasn't for last stand and these uh, purple shields, every enemy coming in range would be dead in two seconds. Pam, 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 dead. Pam, 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 dead. Everyone. The only reason it doesn't happen is because they have absorber shields and they have the last stand in most situations. 
Uh, seriously, you rarely ever find a player who doesn't have last stand. It's 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 insane. I'm not using last stand on most of my setups. I tend to live long with my robots because I have these immunity amplifiers. Things are max. Let's be honest. I'm running max stuff. It also keeps me in the game, obviously, right? I uh, want to be honest with you here. Um, and also, um, with all these modules and the ideal sk pilot skills and everything, you just end up being in alive so long. You no longer need last stand. That third slot, passive slot, is better occupied with a nuclear amp, a, a repair amp, or uh, something else. It brings you more bonuses, because in last stand only gives you a bonus one time for a few seconds. That's it. These other things that I just mentioned, they give you bonuses throughout the entire playtime, most of it. Um, or once you have reached a certain threshold or whatever, and they are active and they help you. All the time then. So they heavily outperform um, a, um, a an out last stand, right? But of course, only if you have the amount of HP on that. Here, this, by the way, is a freaking uh, Indra Titan. He gets completely snacked for breakfast right here. He didn't even understand what hit him. He doesn't understand. He's like, wait, that's just a normal robot. I'm a Titan. He's a robot. I'm a Titan. He's a robot. I'm a Titan. He's a robot. He can't win this fight, right? So I'm just going to go in, brawl, and pop, he was gone. And that robot stands left with almost full HP. <laughs> and now I'm absolutely spawn raiding this guy. Look, I already killed him. On the bottom you see it. Um, now you see it even better. Okay, and now look. Look what's gonna happen now. He respawns a Hades. I'm already in the shield. And boom! One shot! One single shot! And then you see on the bottom his name reappearing again after I drop him down, uh, dropped him down. Right? This is... <laughs> it's completely insane. <laughs> I wish you would have respawned and respawned and respawned. I could have pop, 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 pop. One hit, one hit, one hit. But, you know, let's 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 be hopeful. Let's say that it's good that he didn't do that because I don't want him to uninstall the game right now. Okay. So here's a Revenant again. He thinks it's a good idea to jump on this <laughs> behemoth. I don't understand why they think that's a good idea. He got, he, he got like, three shots in before he died. And that's a Revenant who can restore HP back that I do to him because he uses this ability of him. That was a Titan, by the way. You thought that was a normal little Seraph? No, no, no. That was the Aether Titan. Um, but it, it goes down like a little Seraph when you fire at it with this thing. Same as this guy. Boots. Bye-bye, dude. And that guy here... Him and I were spawn raiding this base for like, what, two minutes now? We're bl we're having a blast and we're like, and now he comes to me like, gives me like, hey, high five and gives me a shield and like, hey, how is it going, bro? But gives me a bro fist, gives me that shield. I say thank you to him and we're going to continue spawn raiding them. Let's be honest, I'm not really good for anything else with this slow thing. This thing is too slow, super short range. I, I depend on enemies to spawn in front of me and then there spawns the most brutal thing that could have ever been spawned against this behemoth, which it is. It's a leech. It's a leech that leeches me. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do now? With this much fire power that I have, I'm just gonna ruin myself if I've opened fire, but of course I can't, I can't keep my, I can't, can't control myself. I have to fire. Thankfully, the resistance I obtained uh, over the time or the resistance I have with a legendary pilot, it also helps negate my own damage that I caused to him with a leech ability. Um, and, um, Therefore, I didn't quite kill myself immediately. Otherwise, I would have absolutely ruined my day. Um, but here, this guy face shifts, but that only keeps him alive for f four seconds. And then pop, 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 pop. <laughs> it's, it's like... I don't know. And then, of course, we have a weird desync at the end of the match. You see, the, the game was completely out of sync. I was shooting this guy. He wasn't taking any damage. He would have already died from this much firepower. But, uh, yeah, the game was in heavy desync and something weird happened there. However, it still ended and we still won. I don't know how the hell that happened. 4 million damage and that was a really quick match. 14 kills, one only beacon cap. Next situation, ladies and gentlemen. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you... A special situation and a full match where I do 11 point something million damage. You want to see what how this ends this match? Stay tuned. This last match is going to be a complete match with the two behemoths in the beginning and then whatever follows after. Okay? And so, uh, here comes a Fenrir and there is this uh, Seraph up in the air. He gets a stealth. Why in the world does a Scarif get a stealth when he lands? I don't understand. Must have had the cloaking device or whatever. But two shots later, he's done. Uh, and thankfully so. Alright, there's this Fenrir here who uh, gets the shield and after that's done... No, I'm suppressed now. After the suppression and after his next shield, I'm gonna completely delete him. Three, two, one. Bam, 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 bam. Bye, dude. <laughs> but I also get deleted because somehow, all of a sudden, the whole team was there. 
or well almost <laughs> uh, and uh, they do why they do a good job um, to attack the the devastator behemoth first if I was to walk around on the battlefield and I have the choice to fire on a little nether robot or this or a behemoth with four devastators I'm gonna choose the Devastator Behemoth because if I don't, all my team around me is gonna immediately die <laughs> because of that Devastator Behemoth. Or maybe myself, so I would also choose the Behemoth to fight him over everything else. The firepower is so high you just can't let this guy alive. You can't. You need to take him down. By the way, did you know that the Kraken Intra or whatever um, deals 76,000 damage even despite resistance through uh, here with his uh, lasso ability? Pop! Did you see that? That was quite a lot of HP, man. I did not expect that. 3.1 million damage, 7 kills, 0 caps. Wow. Um, okay. But let's be, let's be fair. With this behemoth, I really have to hide in this circle area in the middle. Same as I do here on Moon. You, don't, you have only 200 meters range. If you walk out in the open to capture a beacon, people will just shoot you down while you are out of your own weapons range, right? So I kind of have to stay in these narrow spots and rely on enemies to actually do this. To come to me for some reason. Why would you go towards a quad devastator behemoth, man? Are you crazy? Are you freaking out of you? Oh, you have the lag on your side. I see. I see. <laughs> but now you're dead, buddy. Three, two, one, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Capri, okay? I'm just saying, that was not a level 1 Capri, that's a well-leveled Capri. With nuclear amp and the undamaged dealt damage trip chips, dude, these guys just die instantly. There is nothing else going to happen other than instant death, no matter what you bring. You could bring a Titan, he would almost die this fast. Seriously, dude. Alright, here, boom, 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 boom. Mars robot getting absolutely deleted. This guy, he thinks, mm, okay, I better switch over to the behemoth here. Probably the better target for me, and uh, it was too. Good, good idea, good choice, but, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, too late, too late. I already got you. And then we are in heavy trouble, like, everybody spawns in and wants to kill my behemoth now. Thankfully, that hawk landed. That means two shots later he's dead. dead. And then whatever else do we find? Uh, okay, I get killed. They all are fly- everybody flies, everyone flies with resistance in the air, nobody's on the ground anymore. Except this guy now for a second at least. I don't know if he doesn't have the pilot score or, he didn't, or, or if he didn't realize that he lost his health so quickly. But uh, yeah, this guy, purple shield prevents the instant death, but everything else is just after pop over right away. Now, this is the match where I do 11 million damage, by the way. So far, we had a pretty good run with the behemoths, plural. But, um, yeah, it's gonna end now because, uh, yeah, as you can see here, we have a lot of things on us. Uh, trying to drop this guy, perfect lag, prevents him from getting killed before he walks around the corner. And then everyone, everyone in their dog, again, is here to shoot me. Uh, to shoot me dead. Okay, but we're respawning now, and I'm gonna fly up. Activate my Aether resistance and now we're going to start dominating the match like a freaking boss with the Aether Titan and the blinding weapons, okay? So, shield on me so that the Hawk can no longer hurt me so much. Uh, there it is, shield is there. You know, really, that shield is the thing that protect, pr protects me so well from Hawks most of the time. By the way, he's, bl he's stealthed now. That means he's got that pilot chip, uh, that, uh, that drone, that gives him stealth every time he gets blinded. <laughs> It's a very good defense mechanism, however, the Hawk is easily killed and uh, doesn't get blinded often enough. He, get, he just dies before he gets blinded again. And uh, I already see on the horizon to the left the other Murumets and also the Lucha to my lower bottom left. And um, so I'm just gonna hide here for the moment uh, and see what we can do, okay? I think I'm gonna focus the Lucha as soon as I come out here, yep. By the way, I recorded this a few hours ago, so, uh, and I'm just adding commentary on top of the gameplay now, in case you're wondering why my hands are free, and why I already seem to know what's going to happen next. It's because he, I do know that, because I played it before. I didn't travel back in time or anything, I just played this before. Alright, so, uh, unfortunately this guy got to blind me first before, that really was a quick, uh, quite a bummer. I walked out too soon, therefore got myself blinded while I was still reloading. Because here I'm doing it right now, I'm coming in, I'm gonna first blind him before he blinds me. And that means I can deal damage to him. Uh, his weapons do not have the option to blind me now. He could now though, um, but he seems to be, I don't, know, I don't know, I'm getting shields or whatever. I'm gonna start to fly now. He's reloading, we can kill him. And pop, there goes the uh, Lucha. And then we have a whole bunch of uh, puncher... Uh, Puncher behemoths down there. Two of them, actually. There's two 
Punisher Behemoth. Uh, one of them is already quite a powerful thing, and having two of them against you, uh, kind of a, a bummer. So I'm so slow from the battleship uh, slowing field that I try to ampl accelerate myself by using my abilities here. Uh, but of course, you can't get faster uh, from this slowing field of the battleship, which again is something extremely annoying that should be taken care of. It should be fixed. There should be something done about it. Clearly, the area effect in which it applies is way too big. Even if you see the airstrike and you walk away immediately and you walk away a long time, you're still being affected by it. It's unbelievable how large this radius is. And I'm really hoping Bixonic is going to understand that and fix it. Because it's really, really freaking annoying. Sometimes you just... There are these matches where you feel like you're just standing around the whole match, man. There's just nothing we could do. To the left, by the way, I did... I saw him. Okay? Just saying. The guy to the left, I'm seeing him. I'm seeing him pay attention to me. And I'm seeing him um, about to fly up. And I already know that he has a blinding weapons too. I saw this all from my angle of sight while I was looking at that behemoth. And uh, so I'm flying first and I'm gonna make sure I apply my stealth and uh, my, my blinding first. Because to the left, you see, I blinded him a split second before he started blinding me. Therefore, my blind up build, my blinding build up is 1% before it would trigger and blind me. He, however, is now blinded. Therefore, I'm able to deal damage to him, keep him, or, or you know, keep him aimed. Unfortunately, I'm reloading now but I still got the blinding out before that happened and that was really the good idea um, it's always very very useful to be the first to start blinding because if you do that you're gonna be end, end up having him blinded while he uh, can't shoot you or yeah you can shoot him and he can't shoot back and then if you break line of sight afterwards you've done this without any uh, any drawbacks you've basically come out on top dealing free damage and nothing else this guy's blinded now too so that's why I'm not really paying attention too much to his weapons and now I'm starting to fly now that I know his blinding effect has run out. He's trying to stall some time with his ability, which of course he can do, but after that, that was it. Boom. So still here in the Titan. I'm still kicking some serious butt. Um, 440,000 HP. I'm halfway dead or more than that actually, but... I also got so many durability extenders running. I'm behind him now, he doesn't understand what's going on because I had him slowed and look how slowly he's turning. It's like, what the flip is happening? Why is he in my base? Did he just spawn there? He didn't understand how I got there. I'm gonna start to fly now, triggering my resistance shortly before the enemy Bulava and Kisten arrive. And then I'm gonna find, try to blind him, kill him and do that. Also trying to drop this dude in the distance here. Thankfully, I'm still in the air. His Bulava Kisten misses me and uh, because he got blinded in the end. Um, or, no, no, he didn't. He just missed me for some reason. Whatever. Getting back behind cover, finishing as he drops. Again, Bulava Kisten doesn't make the hit because he gets killed before it happens. Blinding this dude before he can do any serious harm to me. And I'm still in the game with 200,000 HP uh, with another shield that landed now on me. Alright, so now it's getting a little awkward though because I'm having too many enemies on me. Trying to fly one more time, disabling him, blinding him, dealing damage as much as I can. But eventually I realize that, man... There's just too much on me. That scorpion jumped on top of me, but he made a really, really big boo-boo. He falls down from the wrong side. I'm healing myself up, blinding him one more time. He loses his bl uh, target lock. I can still dish out some damage, and uh, I can still try and, I don't know, stay alive. But for how long? For how long is the question? Not very much longer, I'm assuming, because, look, I mean... Can I blind him one more time? Yes, I did blind him, but his next shot still killed me. Damn it. If that hadn't happened, I would have survived for a few more seconds, probably gotten another flight out, and so on. Anyways, we're still in the game. The match seems like we might still have a chance, although my team is starting to drop out. I'm beginning to think I need to capture some beacons if we want to have a chance here, and that's what I'm doing with the nether robot. Very quick thing, can do this very effectively, dealing some good damage with these new legendary mac and mac and mac. Hmm... Uh, ma no, not Magnums. What are they called? Um, Magnetars. Yeah, it's something with M-A. I, I remembered that, but I didn't quite knew. Magnetars, that's right. With these Magnetars that are legendary weapons, orange, that means they got a 40% buff recently with the 8.7 updates. That means they have a lot of fun now. But they bring a lot of fun. And 3,500 damage per shot. This is a light weapon. They lock down on top of that and deal 3,500 damage per shot until the, and then they trigger a quick fixed reload and they're back to go, uh, ready to go. This is quite a powerful thing, man. These weapons are really powerful, something you should not underestimate. Same as this angler, so I'm dashing away, making sure that I can shoot him into his flank, getting inside a possible shield that doesn't pop, so it's okay. I could just shoot him without worrying about that shield. I was trying to disable his ability, but unfortunately, one dash 
is not enough to actually disable his ability. Therefore, uh, he had the option to go into another ability run here. But now I'm co he's coming out. We're finishing him off. Pop, 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 pop. And uh, we're maintaining this beacon. However, it clearly, it seems like my team is dropping out because I, I might be able to fight for this beacon and even attack the next beacon that's under protection by a titan. Um, I'm still succeeding in grabbing this beacon against the titan, but um, yeah, we're losing all the beacons on the map. Um, despite my very best efforts. Also, uh, I must find myself unable to kill this titan. Despite having decent damage output, his weapons simply outperform mine. It's a titan with super heavy titan gla gla lance and glaive weapons. And I'm dashing as much as I can to prevent the perfect hits from him. But man, this guy deals a lot of damage. And also, clearly you see his titan is fully leveled 5 million. Because man, I can't deal damage to him. I just can't deal damage to him. He's got so much resistance, there's nothing I can do about him. I, I, no matter how much ma damage my weapons do against him it's like I'm tickling him a little bit I'm giving it everything I've got and I'm doing nothing look I mean this is my max firepower and he's keeps he keeps healing back up because it's the uh, Aether Titan and as you know the Aether Titan cannot die before all of his gray HP is also at minimum so you have to deal like 8 million damage to him or 5 or whatever to kill him um, yeah but uh, we did 11.6 million damage. Unfortunately, in the end, it was still a loss. But yeah, I had a fun time. Six caps, 18 kills. Look at this guy. He only got, well, only 12 kills. That's a lot of kills, man. Seven million damage as well. But he freaking captured 11 beacons. I think I know why we lost this match on beacon progress there. But even if it hadn't been for that, we would have lost on players for, for sure. So yeah, inevitable. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you had a good time. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Would be so amazing, guys. And tell me what you think about the Devastator Behemoth. Catch you in the next video. Money signing off. Bye-bye.